In this video, I'll show you how to set up Wi-Fi Direct on your HP DeskJet 2827E printer. This way, you will be able to connect directly your smartphone or computer to the Wi-Fi of the printer without having to rely on another Wi-Fi network. So let's get started. First thing, turn on the printer and we need to go on the control panel over here to turn this feature on. Take a look at the display we need to see the Wi-Fi Direct icon, which is a smartphone and the printer together. If you do not see that icon, we need to turn this on. So how do you do this? Well, using two buttons. You see there's this button, it's a sheet of paper with an arrow, and right under you get the Wi-Fi button. We need to press both of these buttons at the same time until the small icon appears. Let me demonstrate. So I'm pressing both of these buttons and here we go, after uh, about two seconds, three seconds of keeping both of these buttons pressed, this icon should appear. Great, let's go to step number two, which is to print the Wi-Fi Direct password. Unfortunately, this screen is way too small and it's not able to display the password. We need to print it. So I'm going to load some paper over here quickly open the paper output of this printer and you're going to press on the I button right over here once. If we take a look over here, we're going to see the Wi-Fi direct icon on this paper and under it we're going to see the Wi-Fi uh, direct name is and this will be the name of your printer and under it the Wi-Fi direct password is and it will give you a number this number is your password don't copy mine it will not work on your printer every printer has a different number so let me show you how to connect your smartphone directly to the printer but it also works with a computer Mac or PC the same exact way if you want to scan documents with your printer and get them directly on your phone, you will need the HP app. And I'll show you how this is done in just a minute or two. Before that, I simply want to mention that you do not need to download the HP app if you simply want to print using your phone. And this is what I'll show you first. So to do that, you need to connect to the Wi-Fi of the printer. So you go in the Wi-Fi settings of your phone, and over here you should see your HP DeskJet 2800 series appearing. Tap on it and enter the password that got printed. Then connect. And here we go, we get the blue check mark, we're now connected. Open any file you wish to print. So I got this PDF file that I open using the Files app on my iPhone. Obviously on Android it will be slightly different. And you can also simply go on your Photo Gallery app and print a picture. On an iPhone, you need to press this button right over here. It's a square with an arrow pointing up. On an Android device, you need to press the three dots on the top right corner and you'll get the Print option. So let me show you on an iPhone and then press Print. I'm on the last iOS version for iPhone. From here, you're going to select Printer and you're going to select HP DeskJet 2800. Now, there's a few settings you can change. Number of copies, do you want to print in color, media and quality. You can select the print quality from draft, which is the worst, and I suggest you never choose it, to normal and best. If you print pictures, select best. For anything like a text file with some graphics, normal is enough. At the end, press the print button and it should work right away. This printer is not the fastest. So, for example, this document over here, it may take around, I would say, 13, 14 seconds to print. Here we go. We got our result. Let me show you how to scan. So over here on the iPhone, I will simply go on the App Store. On Android, it's uh, it's a bit different. It's on the Play Store and search for the HP app. Simply type HP and here we go. This is the app we need to download. Before that, it used to be called HP Smart App, but they change it and this is the new app you need uh, to download. So let's wait just a few seconds over here. 
Meanwhile, while the app is installing on my phone, let me show you how to put a paper on this scanner. So let's say I want to scan this document. You're going to place it facing down with the top part of your document. Okay, this is the top part towards the right side like that. And now we need to bring this corner of the document so it touches this corner over here of the scanner. So I'll glide it and both needs to be touching. And this is it. You simply have to close the lid. Now I finished downloading the app and I did it using my Wi-Fi. I connected myself back to my uh, home Wi-Fi to do it. So uh, right now, if you did the same as I did and you didn't want to download the app using your data, connect back to the Wi-Fi of the printer. Okay, I did it. And now open the HP app. Add device right over here. Choose an available printer. Select your HP printer. Don't allow, I don't want notification from HP. And this is about it at this point. Tap on your printer. Go down. Select scan. And you'll need to sign in into your HP account to do it, unfortunately. I really don't like that, but unfortunately, but there's no way to scan to your device okay, to your um, smartphone without being logged in. And it doesn't cost anything. It takes just a few seconds. It's just an annoyance, in my opinion, since HP can, I guess, track what you're scanning. I don't know. So I'll go ahead and sign in into my HP account. Just click on create one. And um, usually in two minutes, it's all done. Once you have signed in into your HP account, you should see this display. And over here, well, you have a few options. Down below, you can select what you're trying to scan. So document, photo, or batch. Batch is for multiple pages. If you're trying to scan like a document of 15 pages, I'll select documents. You can click the top bar right over there. And the most important thing, honestly, it's over here, quality. By default, it's 200. If you're scanning a picture, I suggest you select 300, which will give you slightly more details. You can also select if you want to scan in black and white or color. At the end, simply press the scan button and wait. It should take around 12 seconds to get the image on your display and it will not be saved right away. I'll show you how you can actually save this or share it using your phone. All right, you see it has been completed. And now from here, you can adjust these uh, edges, okay, simply by dragging them. Uh, if you don't like that, simply select full, so the whole thing will be saved. Press next, and now you can edit the scan by rotating. There's also an add button, so if you want to combine multiple pages in one PDF, simply go ahead, scan the next one by pressing add. If not, you have text extractor or scribble where you can do annotation like circling stuff. At the end, you have these choices down below where it is, where the first one is to print whatever you have scanned or to share and save. By clicking over here, you'll be able to share it on social media or on a certain app or even save it on the memory of your phone. So if I click here, you can give this a new name, by the way. This is the default name of the scan, but you can give it test and one to three or uh, I don't know, passport scan, whatever you want. Then you can decide the file type. So if you're scanning a picture, most people will choose JPEG instead of PDF. It's up to you. And this is about it. Press continue and you're going to have all the options that you need. So this is it. I hope this was useful. Leave a like, comment down below if this was useful, and I'll see you in the next video.